Hi Taurus, welcome to your August predictions general reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This is a general reading so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. So Taurus, I'm trying out a brand new spread today and I'm going to hit every aspect of your life in August to love and romance, career finances, and whatever else spirit wants to say shall be said. So I'm really excited to try this out. I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you may have in regards to your life that you need clarity on. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and start off with that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say for you guys for the month of August, what's happening, what's to come, anything you'd even just need to hear right now in this very moment. I did see a mirror and someone looking into a mirror. So for me, I feel for some of you guys, there's something that someone wants to do that I'm connected to to change up their look, change up their hair color, their hairstyle. Um, I don't know, just kind of bring about a change in your life. But then I also felt very deep reflection here. And I wonder if that's something you're going through currently Taurus reflecting on all the things that you've been doing in your life that you still want to do in your life and wondering how you can still get there because you value yourself and that may have been a very long journey to get to that type of value that you have but I just want to say you're very very strong you're a very strong person and I do feel like there is more for you to do that maybe you're starting to see what that is in August or how to get there in August. Small message, let's go ahead and just see what the general theme is for my Taurians. Give me a general theme for Taurus in the month of August, Spirit. General theme for Taurus. Okay, there we go. Okay, we have proposal here. And it says a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Nice. Yeah, I feel Taurus, maybe some of you guys have felt like there's something that has been a little bit plain or like it's kind of hit a plateau in your life. And you've been wondering when that next step is going to be. And I see whether it's romance, business and career, or maybe both, there is some sort of opening of a door that could give you that first step. And it comes from something else. It comes from someone else. So I see business partnerships, romantic partnerships, but I also see um, friendships like deepening. I do see like, you know, two people that have like friendship bracelets, friendship rings, I don't know. And maybe some of you guys are kind of deepening a friendship here. And maybe that friendship can turn into a business partnership. Um, but again, this is all very general. Let's go ahead and first pull a card for career finances and see really what area of your life this proposal is coming through the strongest. If someone is getting proposed to or getting engaged this month, congratulations. If that's not your message, don't worry about it. <laughs> I just saw freckles. Um, maybe someone has like freckles on their cheeks I'm really seeing, on their nose. Maybe this is the person I'm talking about or you, Taurus. Tell me more about career and finances for Taurus this month. Okay. So we have fear. Ooh. And it says, overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your fear 
make you forget your greatness, remain positive and on track. It may require to step out of your comfort zone to achieve the abundance you desire. Wow. So that's why I saw the mirror in that mini meditation very clearly. I mean, some of you guys, it's kind of like that's what the reflection I was talking about. Like, I feel as if you guys felt like you could do really great things, but then you doubt yourself at times or you just kind of are hard on yourself when something doesn't happen in the way you thought it would and you put a lot of self-blame on it or maybe it's not meant to happen for me and then that idea of fear and that idea of I can't do it is what the major block is Taurus that you don't need to have you really don't need to have this is what spirit God the universe is confirming for you that you know you can achieve achieve this success should you truly and honestly believe in yourself now I also see something here with career finances um there may be something offered to you that you may feel like a little overwhelmed by or not sure if you could do it. I feel like whether this is like a leadership role, whether this is a big project, whether this is something that someone wants to work with you. And I do feel maybe there's trust issues around partnerships because maybe, um, you know, business partnerships fell through, friendships fell through. Um, you know, someone may have owed you in money in the past that they never paid you back. So I could see why past experiences may be playing out currently for your financial situation. But Taurus, I just have to say, this is something that God, Spirit, the universe has watched over for you, has protected for you. This proposal feels very, very positive. And I don't feel Spirit would bring it into your life if it's something that would repeat a past karmic situation. So I do feel like maybe some of you guys know you're on the precipice of big change or the precipice of you know, something happening in your life, but it feels kind of scary to give that a chance again when you've been so hurt or when you've been betrayed. Let's go ahead and see love and romance. Tell me more about love and romance. For Taurus in August. Love and romance for Taurus in August. Whoa. It says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Ooh, yeah. So, okay, clearly for those of you that are in a connection currently, maybe it's been a while since you felt like there has been any progress improvement and you've been wondering if they still like you, are they still interested? You know, what's the deal here? And I feel though, whether this is you or the other energy, because roles could always be flipped or reversed, but there's been someone that um, has had a guard up. And it's from, you know, whether someone else hasn't been open, someone else hasn't taken the steps that they hoped they would by now. Now, within the last few weeks or months, there's been a guard. And it comes from the fear of nothing really happening and protecting myself from that inevitability. So, um, you know, I'm prepared for the hurt. But I feel like this person does not want to get up on this Taurus. They want to fight for this. I do feel that they are going to want to talk to you about how they can improve or see you more often. I do feel like you guys haven't been seeing each other as much. Or if you do live with each other, the communication hasn't been as great. And I feel as if they know you guys are in a rocky place currently, but they're not wanting to let you go. They're not willing to give you up. So I do feel this is where the proposal comes in of them saying, here, this is what I want to do to improve our situation. I do feel a gift coming in August for you guys, like something they saved up to buy you, or maybe it's tickets, or maybe something that um, would be very special to you on a personal level here. And uh, I do feel if there's anyone married here that's connected to this reading, um, they want to fight for your marriage very, very strongly here. And those of you that are single, okay, <laughs> I do feel um, there's honestly X energy coming in then that you did date and you were in a committed relationship with that I know this is Mercury retrograde, so tis the season, right? They may want to try to get another chance at you or another shot with you or to try to be in a relationship with you again. I do feel like someone's sending like an old picture and be like, remember this, ha ha ha, you know that type of energy here. So yeah, Taurus, this is about, with the proposal here, like you have two valid offers, but again, there could be fear, or you just, again, you don't want anything from the past, that's completely understandable. But I do say that this person does want to give a solid chance, 
And um, maybe that's where you're going to get this offer. And it's in your power to accept it or not completely. But I do feel there are two ends here, of career finances and love and romance of people wanting to work with you, people wanting to build with you, people wanting to grow with you, but you felt like all this time you have to do it by yourself. You can't trust anyone. And maybe that type of wall of protection someone has built up here is going to Spirit's bringing this type of opportunity in to help break that down, Taurus, because you do deserve to be in a partnership, whether that's friendship, whether that's romance, whether that's business, that you can feel you can trust the other person. Wow. All right. I also feel the energy of falling in love with a friend, okay? That may be for someone, may not, but let's see the three events that are going on for Taurus this month. So we have the nine of autumn, okay, Virgo energy. Your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. See, Taurus, this is spirit reiterating that you have what it takes, period. And yes, it's hard to kind of brush it off when you feel like you tried to shoot so high but landed pretty low but I do feel you have the resources you have the hard work you have the persistence at doing what you need to do and you do a damn good job doing it you're someone I'm picking up is very hard on themselves but no one sees what you see Taurus no one sees you as a failure no one sees you as you know someone that doesn't work hard they admire your hard work and dedication now if this is love and romance man I mean come on nine of pentacles they love the way you dress they love the way you do your hair maybe if you wear makeup they love the way you do your makeup you look good but you're also very independent which really draws them into you. I feel as if they admire that independence and how you build yourself up from, you know, nothing to something. And even if some of you guys, that's not exactly your story, I feel there is a lot that you've done to make sure that you can do what you can to be independent, stable, and not have to rely on anyone or anything else. And I do feel with this being in August, with the Nine of Pentacles coming through, that this is something where you're going to feel with the opportunities come in, the proposals coming in, um, that what you may have feared wasn't really valid. And for the fact that maybe what you've been trying to work on outside of yourself, you're finally able to reflect on how you feel about yourself inwardly. That's why maybe why I saw the mirror for some of you guys as well. Tell me more about August for Taurus, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, you will be given advice that's both practical and creative and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. This is someone who's thoughtful, caring, creative, and ingenious. Capricorn energy here, very strong earth energy. You guys could have like very dominant earth placements on your chart besides even just being an earth sign here. Now, yeah, I wonder for some of you guys that have kids, I feel single parent energy. And I feel maybe something's come up, especially with the fear that we saw with the career and finances where maybe there was like a check that wasn't coming in or your uh, parenting partner has not been doing what they needed to do in order to co-parent with you. You feel like you've been on your own and for yourself. And maybe that's where a lot of the fear is coming in. But Taurus, you get out of every situation. You have, you're smart, you're grounded, you're practical, you plan things, you work hard for it. And so I do feel that hard work and you know, staying away from that fear, if you choose to do so, is really going to pay off. You go from Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. I do feel major work advancements. I do feel people investing, wanting to work with you, wanting to pay you your due. I do feel as if, almost as if with the Nine of Pentacles, you did something innovative. You did something that helped the company, helped your own business, made you really stand out. And there's something that's going to be solidified with the Queen of Pentacles, like placing the crown on your head to be like, you're the star of this company. You're the star of your business. You can have, you know, an increase in your budget, an increase in your finances to continue to build on this. Now, love and romance, this could be someone that sees you as like husband wife material, as someone that they could see being their long term partner that would be you know, compatible to work with that would help, you know, create solutions instead of making more problems. You're not like, you're not all about the drama, Taurus. And I think that's something that this person also really admires about you. You like to kind of just 
be around good energy, positive energy, what kind of makes you feel fulfilled, appreciated, cared for, and that's all you really ask. And I think that person kind of wants to treat you to something, to a nice dinner, to, you know, a nice vacation. I do feel that they want to give you, you know, the support, comfort, and even financial gifts that would kind of show you how much they care. Wow. Tell me one more thing that's happening for Taurus in August or another energy for Taurus in August. We have the hanged man. Pisces energy and it says look at things in a different way and all will make sense don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily things will soon soon start moving again okay so this is maybe where the fear really starts to kick in at the end of the month because I feel in the beginning of the month to the middle like things have been you know on the grind you've been doing your work you've been taking care of business you've been putting in the extra hours at the effort and then maybe towards the end of the month you, it may pause a little bit, but I, you know, the first thing to think of is, oh my God, am I doing something wrong? Am I not putting enough work? I don't feel that's it, Taurus. I feel that spirit does want to say that, you know, the way you look at your life and what you need to do, you put too much on yourself. So maybe spirit, God, the universe is putting a pause or a break towards the end of the month for you to really evaluate how much I put on me, how much I do and expect, you know, myself to do over above and beyond things that not every human can possibly do all the time 24 7. so i do feel the pause here at the end of the month is absolutely necessary and maybe to even look even a bit further for a few of you guys where is this um drive of perfectionism of needing to do everything coming from is it coming from fear where it's like, I'm not going to have enough. I'm not going to be enough. I'm not going to provide for the people I care for, for my kids. Like, and to really look if that's all on you, Taurus. Wow. I do feel your spirit guides and ancestors really, really want to work with you right now. And I feel for those of you that are especially spiritual, a little bit of that has been put on the side because you've had financial focus goals, gains, and that's not a bad thing, but I feel they miss connecting with you as much as you used to maybe you pulled your cards more maybe you took time to meditate more maybe you did yoga more whatever your own thing of connecting with spirit was i do feel has been pulled back a lot and i think that maybe this pause at the end of the month is to help you connect to your spirituality again that has been a little bit neglected as well bottom of the deck the six of summer Okay, Scorpio energy. The love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed and possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. So, I mean, Six of Cups is also, you know, a card for some readers that could indicate someone from your past returning. I do feel this could be romantic or friends from like a long time ago that thinks about you and wants to reach out to you and see how you're doing. Um, they have good memories of you, Taurus, very fond memories of you, and they still hold you in very high regard. They talk about you very kindly, even if there's been like a rift between the two of you for some time. But, you know, if this is anything or mainly to do with love and romance, yeah, I feel like they want to come back and they're trying to come back as being something serious, committed. And with the hanged man at the end of the month, you may need to take some time to think about it, to really look at it outside of what you kind of deemed from the past, which again is very reasonable, but there's something about this that spirit is saying, there's been a change. And maybe again, whether it's just even helping you identify that change by not even wanting to be open to anything from the past again, but then seeing like, I'm not holding on to, you know, this person's whatever it came from what you guys split apart from i don't i feel like it was very hurtful on both ends i don't feel like you guys did anything really to betray each other if that's the case great but it feels more so like you just drifted apart and to think that like someone could have left your life like that without you know clarity or i, I don't know you felt like a little bit pushed to the side when you felt there was something so much deeper and real to it than being treated like that so I feel with this, like maybe spirits saying like, you may be holding on to things from the past that is being projected into your current situations that don't need to be anymore, Taurus. And once you kind of see that specifically with the hanging man here, I think it's going to help you finally come out of that fear-based or 
um, trust issue type of energy that you've been in for a while. And again, I'm not saying what you did was wrong. We all have that as human beings, but I do feel it's holding you back a bit, Taurus. And I think you're really going to identify that in the month of August with whoever's returning or with whatever you're doing to kind of burn yourself out a little bit. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Tell me more about the nine of pentacles for Taurus. I'm seeing someone like fall asleep on the couch. Like maybe that's how tired someone is. Um, you know, maybe someone's noticing how tired you are, Taurus, but you're still on the grind. You're like, wake up and get back to it. Like that's just how you are. That's how you operate. What about the Nine of Pentacles? Ooh, the Three of Cups. Okay, Cancer Energy. Yes, I feel like a reunion or going out with friends. I do feel like getting, you know, more out there. And people, like, even if there's, like, I wouldn't call this a high school reunion, but some sort of energy like that where maybe you're meeting up with people you haven't seen in a long time. They think you look good. You look healthy. You look strong. You are someone that people are going to say, damn, look at Taurus. Like, I mean, even you're the type maybe that like doesn't age really and it's been years and you still look the same as you did when you guys were like way back then, right? But I do feel um, also there's an opportunity to celebrate with your business, with your career. I do feel like coworkers wanting to go out on a dip to a dinner with you to celebrate you, some sort of party. And I even feel like even for a few of you, some work event coming up where you have to travel and it's like a whole corporate thing and people have heard about you. And they were excited to meet you. And I think also people are excited to see you again because you do bring a light to the room, the friend group, the atmosphere. And I think people, if they haven't seen you in a while, are just going to be so happy again to be like, I missed you. Let's hang out again and want to kind of respark those friendships or bonds that um, you may have been a little bit distant from recently. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. What is this Queen of Pentacles all about for Taurus? Seven of Wands. Wow, yeah. You know, for some of you guys, I feel, whether this is friends or children, you're coming to the defense of someone. And uh, I, I feel like as if you feel the need to defend, you are the one that's going to say, you're not going to do this to, you know, my friend, my child. Uh, I do feel also, too, that someone has a fear of someone coming after someone else's finances. So, you know, with your give your relationship a chance, if there has been conversations of splitting up a, a divorce, like, um, you know, someone may be feeling really protective over what they feel that is owed to them and they will fight for it. Leo energy. But again, I also feel if this is, you know, someone you're currently in a connection to and things have been rocky, like they really see all that you give in their life, Taurus, that has high value, your energy, your presence, your hard work, your partnership, your loyalty. And that's something that they want to hold on to and they're not going to give up very easily. They're determined to make this work because they want their queen of pentacles in their life. And that has nothing to do with gender or sex. We all have masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. But you provide and you give and you love so abundantly that that is something that anyone would miss, Taurus. So either way, I feel that's kind of the case here. And if this is something with um, career and finances too, yeah, I do feel you guys are going to be offered something big here or in the process of being, you know, offered something big. And I feel as if you feel that momentum gaining, but again, from past failures or past, you know, things that didn't follow through, you are trying to really guard yourself from having that optimism in case it wasn't to work out. But you don't. I don't think that's needed, Taurus. I understand it, but I don't think it's needed. What about the hangman towards the end of the month for Taurus? Hangman at the end of the month for Taurus. What is this all about? The two of swords. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the world card. Oh, right. Yeah. So the Hank man with the two of swords, Libra energy, by the way, and fixed energy, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Aquarius energy. There's a choice at the end of the month. 
And I feel it's something that's taking you out of your comfort zone. I feel like it's something that you may feel caught off guard with. But you're more prepared to make this choice. And Spirit God, the universe sees you're more prepared to make this choice than you may realize. And definitely take your time. Weigh all options out validly. But I wouldn't get too into thinking that it has to be 100% this way or that way. I do feel for some of my Tauruses here that there's a very black and white thinking, which I, I definitely have. I, I definitely tend to have very concrete type of thoughts and like I'm all about the facts. And I do feel though this specific situation with whatever this is correlating to work and finances or career, love and romance, friendships, there's a gray area here. There's a gray area and there's a lot more complexities to it. And I do feel even for some of you guys, this breakup or this um, drifting apart came from, you know, something not being communicated or a misunderstanding here. And I feel that misunderstanding and that conversation is coming to light. So, you know, maybe when there was a friend that kind of withdrew from themselves, they were afraid to tell you something that was going on personal in their life and maybe they didn't feel ready to or prepared but they're like here Taurus yeah I had nothing to do with you this is what was happening in my life and it makes so much more sense and helps you see this in a whole different way or you know if this is something about like I don't know why I haven't been paid as much as I should like what is really going on I feel there's things in the company that was being hidden from you that um, there could have been other layoffs there could have been other things that were you know budget problems going on that is coming to light now that it's not stuck anymore that gives you a better understanding now if this is love and romance with a specific partnership here I gotta say this person's stubborn and usually it takes them a very very long time to come out of a way of thinking and I feel for a long time they held on to that and I don't know it could have been pride it could have been their inability to admit when they're wrong but I do see that by the end of the month in order to keep you Taurus they have to compromise something here or they have to see something that they're not used to seeing that they have to admit to that they have to kind of fully understand where you're coming from in a way that they haven't made that effort before but I see them really putting that foot forward here and again I think it is going to take you a little bit off guard because they're not usually like that but I feel with the world card here, it is something to celebrate. It is advancement. It is a chapter ending. And I do feel you're going to look back at this as being the month that so much has improved, even from the beginning to now. And I feel the hardest time to kind of understand that will be towards the last few weeks of the month or few days of the month. But once that is really, you know, taken care of, you will see why this had to be flipped around or why this pause had to happen for you to get a better understanding. Wow. And I do feel for a few of you guys, there could be a job offer here where you may have to move locations, okay? Throwing that out there. Or like an unplanned business trip that may, um, you know, catch you off guard a bit. But I do feel Spear wants to say you don't need to be caught off guard. You're so prepared for this. You really are. This has been in a long time in the works in the background that you weren't aware of, but Spirit God, the universe knew it. All right, tell me another thing Taurus needs to know about the month of August, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we have fogged in. And I feel that's how it's kind of been for you guys, right? When I felt in the beginning of the reading a little bit of a plateau here. And it says, go slow and take time. Yeah, Spirit definitely doesn't want you to rush into anything. Spirit doesn't want you to kind of act impulsively. So I don't think that's any of the advice I was giving. However, I do feel like there's a lot that you need to clear your mind on, especially with the fear, kind of seeing what is valid to still hold on to and what you're ready to let go of. Because some of those fear-based tendencies, protections that you built for yourself is kind of taking too much room in your psyche to move forward. And, you know, again, we all come into that time to time. I, I understand, like I said, but I do feel, Taurus, now the fog needs to clear. And I think also it's a bit foggy because you've been putting so much of your energy out into improving, into, um, you know, building your bag, building your success, which, again, great, but there needs balance. And I think you burned yourself out. I think your battery's kind of been running on low. 
And I think once you kind of give yourself that break, that compassion, that grace, and connect to spirit again, all will make sense soon and the fog will clear, Taurus. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get one more card for Taurus and see if there's anything else you need to know about August, about what to do in August. Rochelle. All right. And it says, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. You need to do more so of what you feel is right, Taurus, than what you think you have to do. That's what I'm seeing very clearly here. I do feel a little bit of neglecting yourself, your self-care, your well-being. And not that I think you treat yourself like crap, but, you know, you put so much on you. That's how it feels. And it's time to kind of unload yourself so you can get back into what feels good for you, into doing things and surrounding yourself with people that make you feel uplifted, supported, and to kind of just realize that, um, the fear-based thinking or the scarcity-based thinking or whatever this is that has been holding you back is something that has been a little bit overactive in your way that you proceed in dealing with people or situations that um, you're not meant to kind of stay stuck in this, Taurus. You're meant to propel and go forward. So I do feel at the end of the month, something may catch you off guard. I hope this reading prepares you for it so you don't feel 100% that way. But what Spirit is really asking at the end of the month when this happens, to come out of your pragmatic mind of, I need to do this, that, and go with what you feel. Go with your heart. It's been trying to tell you something for a long time, Taurus, and I feel it's coming the loudest and clearest at the end of August. So thank you so, so much, Taurus, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to August and what you need to hear right now of what's to come or what's happening in your life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.